Hey everyone, this is Chad Kaler, field agronomist in East Central Illinois. Today I'm in a field of soybeans as you can see. I'm in southeast Livingston County, Illinois, near the town of Chatsworth. And I'm in a field of Liberty soybeans that uh, is showing some signs of some herbicide damage that I want to talk about. We started getting calls on this earlier this week, and it's been uh, pretty common uh, with calls since uh, early this week. We've seen several cases of this so far, but I want to give you a little bit of history here on this field. This field was actually planted on May 7th, so about 30 days ago, and was uh, field cultivated first and then sprayed on May 4th with Authority Elite at 30 ounces. And Authority Elite is a combination of a PPO chemistry, sulfentrazone, or commonly known as Authority or Spartan, and also Dual. So Authority Elite at 30 ounces per acre plus Glory. Glory is a generic Metribuzin or Syncor, generic Syncor. So that was four ounces per acre of Syncor or the Glory product. And I just want to show you what we're seeing from products that contain the Metribuzin this year. So the comment that we, we get is our, our beans are yellow and we come out to the field and, and this is kind of what we've, we've been seeing here. So as you can see, some of these upper leaves have a little bit of yellowing to them. And discoloration. And even almost a little speckle type yellowing. It's it's kind of inconsistent across that leaf. Now these beans were planted at about an inch and a half deep, which is one of the requirements for uh, Metribuzin or Syncor type product like Glory. Uh, as I as I measure the distance here. And look at the nodal, uh, excuse me, the nodule development. That's where the seed was planted. We're about an inch and a half deep. These beans are about uh, in the V4 stage, the fourth trifoliate stage. And this has not had a post emerge application. I just want to move over a little bit, a few rows, and show you what that yellowing can kind of progress to. We find a leaf like this. This is what it will progress to and even get a little bit worse. See those brown spots where we got necrotic tissue? Uh, that will develop probably a little bit worse. Okay, move over here a few more plants. We can see a little bit of necrotic tissue there as well. This will tend to grow out of it. Uh, soybeans can have differences in sensitivity to metribuzin. Uh, the unfortunate thing with the quick turnover of soybean varieties today, uh, we don't have a lot of research information that will tell us which varieties are more sensitive to metribuzin. So with rainfall, these soybeans should grow out of it uh, pretty quick. The soybeans do tend to metabolize uh, Syncor pretty quick, but this year in a year where we've had fairly dry soil conditions, this herbicide is sat on top in the top layer at a pretty concentrated level. So as those soybeans grow, they're taking up a little bit more of that uh, Syncor or Metribuzin glory product that's down there at, in the top layer of the soil surface. So I don't expect that there'll be any issues with this field. Uh, this is something that uh, we are seeing quite a bit of, and it's something that I would not recommend in future years that we take Syncor out of our herbicide program in, in a lot of places because we need we need that product in the mix for a lot of our premixes and also uh, in combination with some other products. It is a photosystem 2 inhibitor, which is why we're seeing some of these, uh, these results on the plants, what the symptomology is showing us. So that's what we're seeing from the field. If you notice this in your own fields, uh, this is pretty likely what you're going to be, uh, what it's going to be from. So 